Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you all how I use the Kimmel Hair Care Curl Revitalizer Bounce Back Curl. And I got this from Target for about 4 or $5. They don't sell this at all Target, so you probably want to check if you're interested in buying this at certain Target. Basically what it is, is it's basically to refresh your curls. You can probably even define your curls with this if you like. Um, if you are going to define your curls with it, I would definitely recommend you use a really good moisturizer underneath it and probably an oil on top of it because it can make your hair very um, hard and dry feeling. Uh, so first thing I do, I just did my hair yesterday. This is a wash and go. And I don't know why I slept with a satin bonnet on last night. And normally, uh, if my wash and go is still wet, I'll just sleep with my um, satin pillowcase. and nothing on my hair, I'll just pull it back in a loose ponytail. But for some reason last night, I put my satin bonnet on. <laughs> And that was a big mistake because all this, I'm going to have to redo the back probably as well. I have to redo. So normally if I have to refresh my curls and I sleep on a satin pillowcase, it's usually just the front section that I have to do. So I'm going to show you what I do and you get to see what I do for my entire head now. So I'm taking some water and just spraying it. Uh, mainly on the sections that I'm going to be working on today, but I'm also going to spray it just kind of lightly everywhere just so it's not like one spot is really dry and then the other parts are you can tell are shiny and done over and I'm pulling my hair down as you can see and what this does is it's good for helping to stretch those curls out so um, if you did sleep with the satin, um, the satin bonnet on or if you, um, you know, you have those dents in your hair from the ponytail holder, you can kind of stretch those out and the water will kind of weigh it down. Make sure I get under here. And you don't want to spray too much water. Um, Cause remember, if you're trying to keep it, keep your washing go going for days and days, um, too much water will slowly start to loosen up the gel and stuff and we don't want that so keep spraying some more up here and you can kind of see the dents are pretty much gone away but we need something to hold the curls in place so it doesn't frizz up and poof up everywhere so now it's time for the curl revitalizer and um, this is probably just a little bit too much so I'll use this for a bigger section but for a small section up here in the front, you probably don't want to use that much. It just depends on your hair and your hair's thickness. So what I do is I rub it in my hands like this all over, get on the fingertips, the palms, and I just kind of, ow, not so much uh, raking it or smoothing it. I'm just, well, more so smoothing, I guess, and focusing on parts that need to be um, done over. And then I go in and I scrunch. Some parts I do just have to go in and smooth it down. This is what my hair looks like all dry as you can tell it's really big sorry if the camera is shaking I'm just holding it with the tripod but this is what it looks like here's the back um, like, um, I like this like refreshing method in my new wash and go method a lot better than what I've done in the past because as you can tell I, like I said I get bigger hair I feel like my curls look more natural like before it looked really like I had some type of chemical uh, making my hair curl, like um, S curl or something like that. But I really like this. As you can tell, curls are nice and defined, yet um, it's still giving me a lot of volume and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I'm going to go to sleep now and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.